how is V model different from waterfall model, right? So the differentiation. So as I explained in the previous question also, waterfall model was very phased approach. So you had a requirement phase. Once the requirement phase was frozen, everything finalized, only then design can start, right? So once sign off has been re received for the requirement, then design will start. When sign off has been received for the de design, then development will start. When development is complete, then testing will start. So it was, you know, very phased approach, the waterfall model. Now, the disadvantage of the waterfall model was that the release or uh, testers used to get the first set of products product to test very late in the cycle, right? The involvement of testers was very late. And then the feedback from customer was very, very late. After product deployment, the feedback from customer used to come, whether the software is fit for use or it's not, it's, it fulfills the customer requirements or not. So in order to overcome that, V model came in picture wherein testers involvement was supposed to be right from the beginning, right from the requirement phase, design phase. So that's where V model came in picture and in V model involvement of testing team was from the early phase of the software development rather than having a siloed testing team which used to get the product to test late in the cycle they were involved in every phase and in each phase they used to write the test cases accordingly and share the feedback as well that's where the V model came in picture and V model uh, solves many of the limitations that were there in the waterfall model. So that's how V model is different from waterfall development approach.